for me, I remember it starting around the age of 11, 12, something like that. Women that were associated with our family, like, you know, neighbors, uh, you know, friends of our parents, things like that, started hitting me with these questions. They'd be like, oh, you know, do you have a boyfriend yet? Uh, you know, you have such pr a pretty face. You know, you're going to be a man killer when you get older. You know, your dimples, your smile is so great. Um, you know, you're going to have a body like your grandmother. You know, she used to kill them. You know, men would kill for her. Uh, you know, you can't sit with your legs like that because that's not ladylike. You can't, you know, dress too revealing because, you know, men don't like that. You have to, you know, learn how to do this and that and blah, blah, blah. If you go on a date with a guy, you know, you have to ask him about himself. Okay, so you get where I'm going with this. The brainwashing of what you as a female need to do to focus on getting and keeping a man it starts early it's also reinforced by the males you know they tell they start to tell you what they like and what men like and how men will judge you i mean the stuff that they tell you is true i guess you know what i mean they're giving you some some factual information for how stupid men are but does that mean that you have to go along with the stupidity that's where the issue comes in for most black women in that we feel like you know if we want to quote get and keep a man we have to operate our lives within these narrow parameters of what men find approving and what men will approve of rather and what men find appealing and so, you know, if you're brainwashed to think that this is, you know, the end goal for you as a woman is to have, you know, get that ring and to have a husband and a, and a family to have the title of Mrs., then these things become extremely important to you and you will formulate your entire life and everything that you do around reaching that goal. So that's what we want to talk about is how men will hold that carrot of marriage out for you to jump through hoops to get that ring. Now this is not solely a male behavior because women stupidly reinforce it. Like I'm telling you, I didn't hear this shit from my father. He was solidly, you know, like do whatever the hell you want to do. But I heard it from other women, other black women, not my mother, not my grandmother. I heard it from other women outside our family. And, you know, the, even if, if the girl, like if you read like the magazine, you know, I used to get subscriptions to uh, Teen Magazine or I don't know, it was a bunch of them. I used to get these little magazines. And I noticed that as I got around 15, 16, the content of them changed and it became very male focused. You know, what, you know, what do guys like putting on makeup that doesn't look, you know, too, like you have on too much makeup because guys don't like girls that put, wear a lot of makeup and you know how to dress appropriately for each date with each kind of guy because you know he might not like this to be too revealing around his family and his friends and blah blah, blah. I mean every single thing even like you look at Cosmo all these magazines is all focused on what women need to change about themselves what women need to do be wear say not be wear not do not say and not be to get a man in their life it is the most unbelievable thing if you really start really you know opening your mind and looking at what you're seeing not just looking but i mean really seeing what you're seeing you will notice that the programming for women around acquisition of a man and marriage is I mean, you you can't unless you're gonna move in a cave somewhere you can't escape it it hits you from all angles so what I wanted to do is talk about that and how black women especially are being programmed to want marriage and part of that programming is yeah, of course, through religion, that's the most religious demographic, according to every study I've read, is the African-American female. And in every religious text, there is a focus on marriage. There is also a focus on the woman being, you know, less um, powerful in that union than the male is. 
So we are programmed not only to want marriage, but to jump through hoops for, for men to get the marriage, and then to jump through hoops to keep the marriage, and to jump through hoops to be looked at as a valuable woman worthy of the marriage. So, you know, there's like this constant, like a circus, what they call a four ring, three ring, four ring, whatever, spring circus going on in the lives of black women in order to achieve this magic nirvana of becoming Mrs. Somebody or the Other. Now, marriage to me, I don't know. You know, a few years ago, there were like all these books and articles and radio shows and TV shows that were talking about black women being the most, um, the least likely rather demographic in the country to marry. And, uh, you know, black men all on these shows talking about how black women are poor choices for wives because we don't know how to be wives anymore like our grandmothers and we're too independent and we won't submit to a man's leadership and we have too much mouth. So all the things, you know, when you think about it, all the things that make a woman more vulnerable to the games that we've discussed in this video series, more vulnerable to bullshit and more likely to be codependent in her relationship on this man are the very things that men are saying they don't want in a wife. And you guys, you got, you got to connect these dots. So, you know, they don't want that, right? Yet, think about this. Black people have the highest rate of divorce of anybody of any demographic. So we have the highest, you know, rate of, of dissatisfaction in marriages as well. I you know, put some uh, slide up with the information from some studies and, um, you know, it shows that marriage in the African American community, even though it's programmed into women to want it, it's not likewise programmed into men. So you have half the, well, actually a little bit more than half the population thinking that this is a goal that they need to achieve while the other half is running from it as much as possible. What fucking sense does that make? I'm not understanding why women are still latching on to this idea that they need to be married to one of these men. It's like they're not prepared to be husbands. There's nothing about them that is, you know, and I'm talking on a grand scale, you know, there's always going to be exceptions to the rule, but when you think about the socialization of the black male, in, the, in our current times, it's not husband material. That's not what they're being programmed for. So you have all these guys coming at you that tell you they need all this uplifting, they need all this assistance, they need all this guidance, they need all this support, they need all this help, they need all this direction, and they want you to give it to them, right? That's, you know, you're supposed to be to help me. But what I want to ask you guys is, if you have a man who's that incapable of standing on his own, He's got to lean on you for all these things, all, right? all this support, all this uplifting, all this encouragement and everything. What the fuck is it that you think this weak-ass, spineless, don't-know-shit motherfucker can do for you as a husband and a father? See, the logic there, that's what they call cognitive dissonance. You guys are like ignoring the reality in front of you. A man who cannot stand up on his own and who can be strong on his own that you can lean on as as the leader of the household that's not a husband he's not husband material i don't know what the fuck he is he's like a kid in an adult body so you have him and plus whatever babies you have with him so now you got you know two three four kids you don't have a man you got another be you got a tall child and these guys you know, they actually feel like that is their right to demand of you so here you are, right? You just just dying to get married. You just can't get in the, the thought. Just you, that's all you think about. You know, you want a husband, you want a family, you want to get married, all this old stuff. It's like it, it crushes you that you're not married. You're sad and depressed that you're not married. That's all you can fucking think about is being married. And I want to ask you why. What is it that you think you're going to acquire from being married that you don't already have or can't get for yourself? Because let me tell you a secret. Most of the women who are married can't wait to get unmarried. And they don't really understand 
you know, what the benefit. Yeah, there's some, you know, they have a happy marriage, but those are in the minorities. That's why you look at the 70 to 80 percent divorce rate in the black community. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of marriages that ain't, you know, the, the reality was not at all what the fantasy was in these women's minds. So you got to think about that. You know, you're thinking about the programming that you got from your religion, you know, the God says you need to be married, Jesus promotes marriage, you know, the Bible says all the stuff, Allah says all the stuff, Jehovah says all the stuff, you know, all these different religions in the black community promote, you know, marriage. But if the man that you're talking about marrying does not have a similar belief, you're basically married by yourself and he's still fucking around doing whatever the hell he wants to do. How does that work? You know, how how is that supposed to really give you the kind of union that you, you know, that you, you're planning on? I mean, because you think about it, you know, just think about the training that we get as girls to be wives, right? We're taught to cook. We're taught to clean. We're taught, you know, manners, service. Um, you know, like I talked about in some of the videos, they talked about how to serve men their plates and, you know, acquiesce to them and, and show them all kinds of subservient respect and all this stuff. I mean, all this stuff is prepared. I mean, it's prepared to shove down little girls' throats from the time they can walk damn near. You know, we get baby dolls for toys. We get place kitchens. We get toy irons. We get all this, you know, little aprons and then and easy bank ovens and all the stuff that's designed to start brainwashing us into the role of being a housewife a wife to some man every everything i mean you just think about it you got your little dolls you changing their diapers you changing their clothes you washing them you calling them your baby you feeding them with the fake baby bump i mean it's the whole programming of females in our society to be a partner to a man they what are they getting when you think about it, what training are they getting to be a partner to you? I'll wait. Because ain't nobody yet been able to provide me with an answer to that. There are some vague references to what they're supposed to do in the Bible. But what about the men who, you know, the 80% of black men who are not, you know, going to church and reading the Bible regularly? What about them? Those are the main ones y'all marrying because the brothers ain't up in church. So you can forget that. So if you look at all that, you know, you got to understand that you pushing all this, this, this agenda, you doing all this work, you jumping through all these hoops to try to prove yourself to be worthy of being, quote, wifed up by these guys. It's not helping you. It's not going to, it's not doing anything positive for you. And so I'm trying to figure out for real what is it that black women still want? Why do y'all still want to get married so bad? The options to, of who you're going to marry are very poor. The outlook for the marriage lasting is very poor. The outlook for the relationship being a happy one is very poor. Because, you know, niggas don't know how to fucking act. They don't know how to be a husband. Ain't nobody taught them. Half of them haven't even been around their own father, so they don't even know what a man is supposed to do in relation to, to a woman. They're learning how to act with women from other stupid niggas at the barbershop and from videos and shit. So you guys sitting up there, you women in your 20s and early 30s and whatnot, in this generation of men who don't have any clue how to be one. And you are expecting them, of course, to be as, you know, the old-fashioned males of your that you were taught you know about in your youth and you want them to be you know to meet those standards and play those roles when they're incapable of doing it because they don't fucking know how so i'm trying to figure out if you guys face this reality what in the world are you still doing pushing for marriage you know i mean really think about this i mean you got the idea you know in your head we all heard them little stories, the little fairy stories with little girls, you know, happily ever after. And, you know, you be with somebody forever and that's your life partner. And you die old and grow old together and die and holding hands or whatever the fuck. But is that the reality for what's going on around you? Why do you keep cleaving to that, that fantasy when you can see that that's not what's happening? So, you know, you got these people... You know, even if they have been married for 30, 40, 50, 60 years, does that mean that the marriage was peaches and cream the whole time or even half the time? Does it mean that? Um, 
usually not. Usually people have a lot of trauma and drama in their relationship, even if they make it to the other side. You know, they can tell you the stories about the times that they almost split up and then they decided to, you know, recommit to their marriage. I think the main thing that bothers me is how marriage is pushed on young black girls as an achievement. You know, it is viewed, it's promoted rather as something to view as making you superior to women who are not married. So you will see a lot of women who say, well, you know, at least I got a man. You know, my husband, they wearing you out. My husband this, my husband that, my husband this is another thing. And it's like, you know her husband ain't shit. She knows her husband ain't shit. But the fact that she's married, she takes that and, and uses that as a tool to lift herself up and to portray herself as better than you simply because she's married. But I'm like, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, judging women who are not married as if she's lacking in something or she's, you know, faulty or bad is folly. Because some women have more sense than to get married to just any old body. They're waiting for the right somebody to come along. And, you know, this, this idea in our society, in black culture, that the single woman is, is something to be looked down on, that needs to change. Especially when you consider that's the majority. You know, why, why lift up the minority and, and everybody else? The majority of black people are single, men and women. So, um, you know, I, I, I don't, basically, I just don't understand what it is that, why people still um, promote marriage as the epitome of success for a young woman. Her success will be in her measurement of what she has achieved in this world and the mark that she makes on it. Not everyone wants to be a wife and a mother. And even for those who do, that does not mean that's their sole dream. So as their, their elders and their parents and their siblings, it's our goal and it's our role, it's, it's mandatory that we support them in whatever dreams that they have. You know, being a mother and being a wife is a mere part of a woman's existence. It's not the whole thing. And to push that, you know, in her face as being like the primary thing that she should acquire, even up or over and above uh, her education, her travel experiences, her professional achievements, you know, I mean, those are things that enrich a woman and make her feel like she's valuable. And, you know, kids are great, don't get me wrong, but they're temporary you know they get they grow up and they go on about their business and some of them still have maintained close relationships with their parents some don't you never know you know the luck of the draw i mean your kid could be killed your kid could end up in prison for life you just never know so the main thing is that you know you as a woman you have to find your way to satisfy yourself and i'm thinking that you know the way that um, marriage is pushed as an achievement in the black community is the antithesis of that kind of of self uh, validation and achievement and a building of self-esteem in women instead of letting you guys you know explore your options and achieve things that make you feel good about yourself your whole focus is redirected towards men the everything that you do is directed to getting the approval of men enough to qualify to be picked to be his wife to be quote wiped up by your behavior by how much you cook by how well you clean by what you look like by how you keep your figure by how much sex you have or haven't had by how well you screw or don't you know i mean everything it's like every single thing that is about womanhood black womanhood has to do with getting and keeping the approval of the black male that to me is the pride i mean just like i can't even tell you how much bullshit that is you guys deserve to have your kudos based on who you are not who you are reflected off of a man you see what i'm saying and you can do that single you can do that with a boyfriend you can do that married if you choose to but what i'm t what i'm saying is that you know from our girls need to know 
that marriage is work. You know, it's not the fairy story happily ever after like it's being promoted. Marriage is a lot of work. And for women, statistically, their their workload increases by it quadruples. Men's reduces because they pass on all the chores that they used to do for themselves to their wives now. So how he used to do his own laundry, now you do it. How he used to have to scrape up his own meals, now you do it. How he used to have to keep up with his own doctor's appointments, now you do it. How he keeps up with getting his dry cleaning and stuff done, now you do it. How you change the sheets on the bed, he used to do that, but now you do it. Vacuuming the house, he used to do that, now you do it. You see what I'm saying? Everything that, I mean, you were already doing those things, of course, for your own, your own residence, but he doesn't pick up any of that. He just ditches it all on you. That is the case in 90% of the household. And when men step up and do something in the household or with their own kids, they have the fucking nerve to call it helping. Motherfucker, you don't help with your own kids. Those are your fucking kids, and that's your house that you live in. So you doing some chores in your house, you ain't helping your wife. The fuck? But see, that mentality is there, and women will actually give men applause for that shit. Well, you know, he helped me. No, the motherfucker didn't. You just sitting there being stupid, sitting there letting him, you know, get away with that, thinking that he helped you. It's like that's he lives there, too. That's just as much as his responsibility as it is yours. He wants to get some shit, and you guys picking his clothes up off the floor and hanging his clothes up he threw on a chair and putting his shoes back in the bedroom that he left in the living room and doing all this, like, tidying up after him like he's a child. Don't do that shit. If you can get a box in the living room or something, throw all this shit in the box. If this shit gets wrinkled up and dusty and crusty, oh, well. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, or just push it under the couch I, and make him look for it. I, I just can't really see women with you know you guys take on too much responsibility but you know the bottom line is you know marriage is actually statistically has been proven to be more valuable for men than it is for women especially black women and marriage for white women is good marriage for white men is good I mean they both get their status elevated remarkably from a marital union including financially however for the black couples those benefits do apply to men, but not to the women. Black women take on the load of not only being the house, doing most of the housework, but also holding down the full-time job, which a lot of white women don't have to do. Once they get married, their husbands work, and they chill out at home, or they work part-time or do volunteer work or some shit. And here you guys are, you putting in eight, ten hours at the job, you doing all the stuff with the kids, picking them up from daycare and all that stuff, you run home. You know, then you're expected, because of black culture, to cook, clean, and do everything for the kids while your husband sits his ass on the couch. You guys need to really think about this. I mean, marriage is great if it's something that you feel is really going to benefit you and you have, you know, the proof that it will. But if you aren't married yet, you need to really sit back and think, why is it that I want to get married so badly? Is this something that I really want or is this something that I've been trained to want? And why do I let what men think and what me, what I've been told that men want to make to motivate me to do certain things or not do certain things in order to get that ring what is the benefit of me doing that and you know you got to think about that because these men by holding out marriage as a carrot they can really yank the chains of millions of black women I mean it's not hard they just say, you know, I don't think that's a win, or that ain't wife material. You ain't wife material. You know, that I, don't, I can't see my wife acting like that. You know, I don't want my wife dressing like that. I don't want my wife looking like that. You know, so you guys trying to, like, put yourself in these molds and jump through all these hoops to get that approval so that he will see you as wife worthy. You do what I call audition. You know, with your cooking and cleaning and you pulling out all the porn moves and you doing all the stuff to make him see what life would be like with you as his wife. I vote that you not do any of that, you know, because either he loves you or he doesn't. I mean, you know, the main thing that a wife provides for a husband is emotional support. You know what I mean? It's like if he's feeling down or whatever, he's kind of conflicted, he's lost, he's lost his motivation. You're his biggest cheerleader. You know, but all this other stuff, 
that they want to try to have you do it in order to get their approval and get the ring and become Mrs. XYZ. You know, you guys really got to think about that and weigh the pros and cons, uh, weigh the risks and benefits, and make sure that whatever he's offering is going to bring you, put you on top. Because if it's not, and you feel like you're going to be giving away more than you're getting from the situation, I urge you to rethink marriage. You know, marriage is being promoted in the black community, as I said, as the end all and be all of the black woman's existence. So that women are depressed when they read these statistics and say that they're the least married group on the country. And, you know, that a black woman will probably never get married and blah, 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 all this little stuff. You know, there could be... A reason for that it could be that black women are the smartest demographic and know better than to get themselves involved in some bullshit so you know is this always more than one way to look at anything but I just you know my goal here is just to bring out the ways that uh, to point out rather the ways that black women are manipulated and controlled like everything about your existence is controlled by your desire for this thing called marriage that people have programmed into you almost from infancy. You've been told to want it. You've been trained to want it. You've rarely, if ever, been told that it's merely an option for your life and it's not necessary. That's not the messages that we're getting because of our religious associations that's like not really an option uh, for women it's like always expected that you would be somebody's wife and so women you know strive to achieve that goal my thinking is that you know it's great if you get if you get it and it's get you get it and it's right but it's not anything that's really necessary and it is mandatory that you consider the pros and cons of being married to any guy that you meet who you know you think might be a husband look at what he's got to offer look at how he operates his life look at his expectations of you look at what he's got to offer you emotionally mentally physically and psychologically as well as financially and then make your decision you know marriage is like a business you know it's like a merger of two corporations and if you're gonna like merge with something and you're gonna take a loss you need to rethink that you know nobody's really in business to lose money and which means no woman should be in business to lose anything by her marriage to someone who's not really qualified to be her husband you know I know it sounds brutal I know it may even sound bitchy and cold to some people but hey that's what I'm here for I'm not here to you know I've feelings all that stuff I told you I have no fucks to give on you know people's feelings I'm not Willy Wonka I'm not here to candy coat shit what I'm here to do is deliver the raw truth and some information that you need to think about stuff in a different way than you may have thought about it before. That's my sole purpose. Anyway, um, we'll have another video for you in a day or two. My name is Deborah Cooper. This is video number 21 in the manipulative things that black men do to make black women jump through hoops series. The goal is to get this up to, I'm thinking about 25 videos. I think I have enough material for 25, and then we'll move on to a new series. But um, you can find more of my writing on survivingdating.com and ask, that's A-S-K, heartbeat.com. I'll check you guys out in a few days. Bye-bye.